What's up, YouTube? Didn't say Facebook this time. Surprisingly. Alright, so I'm back at it again with another banger. Head ass. But, uh. That's random bumper. Just chilling. I don't know why I'm gonna just flip the camera. And, uh, whatever. But, like I said, um. About to go pick up some parts from Summit. Let's. Try to figure out what it is. Uh, you probably won't, but yeah. So y'all see, I got the wheels. So something else needs to be done. But let's see what that is here in a minute. But yeah, I also don't know if I'm gonna put this in a different video or not. But we'll see. But yeah, here we go. All right, and I met something obviously, but uh about to leave now so as y'all already know i have beltec stuff on my truck so why would i be buying more beltec i'll tell you in a second so sorry about the quality earlier when i was doing the selfie but let's see let's see what's in this box before i leave give me a second all right y'all about to be that time to start doing this, um, this drop kit. All right, so as far as I know, I need this, this for the, the axle to sit in, and the shocks, and you know, cutoff wheel, and some sockets and stuff like that. But you'll see what I'm using once I actually start doing it. But Let's get it. First things first, Uncle Phil from the video. All right, so we got to get the shots undone. The axle has been held up by these jack stands. So as soon as I undo this stuff, it should not fall on me. And then the truck is being held up over there on jack stands as well. So nothing should fall, theoretically, but you know, we know how stuff like that goes. So let me get started. Yesterday was pretty productive until we got real stuck. And we got real stuck on uh, taking this off on the other side. I'm gonna go over there and show y'all. But this is a lot harder to get off because they got these rivets in here. Get a closer. See those rivets right there, right there. And they got a bolt over there and then another rivet over there. It's just hard to get that head off. And then also, um, um, what I'm trying to say, just to get it all done. So, I have to show y'all, it's just hard to push them out. Even with the air hammer over there, they don't want to move. So, well, let me show y'all what we got. So, we got the bracket off, we just can't get them they're stuck so we're gonna figure that out a little later 
But other than that, the only thing we got to do is cut this off and something else and then we're good to go. So, yeah. This is uh, a day two recap on day three. So, tell you what we got done. All right, so, let me move this bracket. All right, so, we got this part of the bracket cut off. Um, we got the bracket hung. Uh, we got it back in with it flipped here. Cause usually the nut will be here, but now the nut's on the bottom. What else? The tank's back up. Um, and we, really, we just got most of the stuff grinded off. On that side, I still got some work to do. But yeah, let's get to it. What's up, Facebook? What's up? This is like, Day 47. No, okay. All right, but yeah, like I said, so this is kind of like an update on the suspension. So y'all didn't get to see the finish, and the reason is because it took us from Sunday to Thursday to finish it. We didn't have the right to we were using a sawzall, grinder, cut off wheel, and anything else far in between. But I just want to show y'all what we got done, what we put it on, and kind of how we did it in a sense. But it's just going to be a quick view. We're on our way to the track now, in the truck, to the hood track. We probably won't never race to be there, but I would never say never. But I be like, oh, let's go to Yellow Bend and race the track, uh, race the V. Not quite. You know, it's, it's kind of like one of those. If we're there, then we'll do it. But so let me show you the suspension and show you what we did you know of course the passenger side is easy because there's a fuel tank there so but yeah i'm gonna show y'all all righty so this once used to be a bump stop so the fact that bump stop came down to like right here so like you would have no suspension travel at all so we had to cut that off which you can see we grinded it i'm gonna put some black spray paint on this soon here shortly Okay, so also back here. Oh, let me turn. Oh, guess I can't. Okay, there we go. All right, so there was once a bracket here, which you can kind of see where the rust spots are. When we grind it, it used to be there. So basically, that's their new shackle or the new hanger for the shackle, which that is a factory shackle on their hanger. Let me get that up under so you can see more so that up there is a factory pole and yeah so we had to grind that we had to knock that piece off with the sawzall grind down the, the the rivets on there so the rivets were right here so we had to grind that down on the factory um, hanger grind it down and then we hit it with the sawzall on the back and then we used a um, a um, air uh, hammer with the pointy end to knock out the rest of the rivet sorry about that y'all yeah so um we didn't do anything back here we had to drop the uh the trailer hitch though what else i changed the diff fluid so let's go back over here so now so right here there's a bolt right here a stud right here so 
usually the bolt is supposed to be down here at the bottom factory. So we had to flip that in order for it to fit inside of this holder for the axle. And this is the new bottom piece because usually the holder of the, you know, leaf spring, it used to be this weird little shape thing that I got in my storage. So we had to use that instead of that. And then that's the new part for the hangers to, to hang in. And the shorter drop shock, like that thing does not want to extend far at all. So like you basically had to put the jack on it and then slide it in the hole. Um, what else did we do? Um, you know, we had to disconnect it down there uh, to get the whole thing out so we can flip the bolt in this and put the C-clamps on here to hold it down. Um, what else? And really, I think that's it. But this and that, grinding those parts off is what took the most time. And, and the first day, day, we didn't even have the right tools. That was the big problem. Oh, let me get up. And let me go around over here. Okay, so right here, we had to remove these and drop them down and let them hang. So it's one, two, and then there's one more down there. And uh, I'm sorry, no, it's not one more down there. It's just these two to hold the brake lines. And then you have to drop this cover. It's like one, it's one, and it's two, and then there's one more underneath the frame down there. Then we had to come in here, we had to disconnect this and let it hang so we can drop the tank. There's like little hangers right here that holds it. We have to drop that. But really that was, you know, the normal. So, yeah. But let me clean the wheels real fast. I'm gonna put it back on. I gotta clean this thing up real fast. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Clean that thing up real fast because it ain't been cleaned, I don't know how long, the right way. But also, y'all already know my front suspension. It's their non-adjustable, just only height coilovers with, I forgot what company this was. The brakes. Their sway bar, Beltec. Everything suspension-wise is Beltec except this upper control arm. Uh, but yeah, so that concludes the, the, the drop build. It, it was hard to record just because it took so long and we got stuck in one spot for so long so we just couldn't really record too much but I'm sorry about that maybe like you know this is a learning situation with us maybe we'll do this more often maybe we'll be able to show y'all how to do it again on some else truck with the right tools and stuff but yeah this is YouTube It's not a game, it's a red stick.